Hi, so how you doing? In this video, we're gonna look at how to create a guitar solo that really sings for Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. We're gonna get away from the usual guitar-oriented way of looking at things and approaching stuff and focus more on how a singer would approach creating a solo or a melody. So let's dive right in. So how can we make our guitar playing sound more like a singer? Well, let's just play with the singer actually singing. So Chris Stapleton kind of sings all over the place, very soulful type of singer. And let's just do the first verse. And if we just learn what he does during that first verse, we can just play that and have that be our solo or it can be a good starting point for launching into a more kind of complex thing. But let's just start by breaking down what he does in the first verse. So here we go. So what just happened there? It was essentially four main phrases, maybe like a couple parts to some of the phrases, but let's just look at each one. So he starts off just playing up here. And you know, what, what is he really doing all for, first off though? What is he doing overall? He's playing really from here to here, you know? So really it's just the A major pentatonic and it's just going from F sharp to F sharp. Even though we're in the key of A, you know, it's kind of, you know, here's our A, kind of revolves around, but he's starting a lot of the phrases just here, and goes up to here, and then a couple notes down here, maybe this one note here, um, a little embellishment note, but for the most part, it's just, just one octave of, of the pentatonic scale, so five different notes, six notes if you, incl if you include the, uh, the octave, and that's all it is. So that's our first big takeaway is we don't really want to be playing all over the place necessarily if we want to really sound like a singer. So keep it nice and compact, you know? And it's about how we play the notes, not just what we're playing. So the first phrase starts off up here on a C sharp, and uh, it slides on here. We could play it here, but I think it's better here because then we can pull, do a pull off and slide it down. Very different than this or and a lot of times, even if I'm not doing a slider pull off, I'll sometimes just play this on the same string as much as possible because uh, it sounds a little different. You know, when I play this note versus, you know, what do you notice? This one jumps out a little more. It's a little brighter because the string is thinner and maybe we want that effect, but if we want to really smooth things out, Sticking to the same string is, is usually better, not always. Depends on the situation. So we're gonna to try to play on the same string as much as possible. So anyways, the first phrase starts like this. So the first phrase starts like this. And then he leaves a lot of space, so a lot of space. Another big takeaway, tons of space here. Holds that one a little longer, and here's the third phrase. And then the last one's kind of broken into two parts. And that's it, you know, real simple. So some of these techniques though, for you may, may take some time getting these bends, you know, doing the vibrato on the bends or in any spot. Um, but really take your time, just do it note by note, phrase by phrase, and really work out the fingerings. You know, it was this spot right here, what is it, the third one, we're going. 
I like to use my third finger here. So, you know, the second one would be the one that would match right up. But then getting to this spot here is a little trickier. So I like to use my third finger and then. And that helps me move around. So try out, you know, different ways of doing it. Everybody's hands are a little different. But take your time again, note by note, phrase by phrase. But the big takeaway is to sound more like a singer is to just do what singers do. And you don't have to necessarily even do this note by note if you don't want to, but just get the gist of it down, or at the very least, just focus on what singers are doing and try to sound like it yourself. Even if you just do that, you just change your awareness of focusing on how singers are approaching singing melodies and stuff, it can really change your playing. And the specific takeaways musically is we don't need a lot of notes, don't need a big range at all, and we need to leave a lot of space, a ton of space. So we don't need to be, you know, just flashing all over the place. That, that does have its time and its place. That's maybe as the solo builds we do that and we can kind of go beyond what singers are capable of physically doing, um, what we can do on the guitar. Uh, that's a great aspect of guitar, but to really just have it be a soulful singing type of sound, we don't need that much. So, uh, so mess around with that. I've got a backing track in the PDF of the uh, melody and my website and the link down below so give it a click and check it out and you can then practice this stuff and anything else you want to try uh, for the song for Tennessee Whiskey so good luck check it out